Hey folks, that fix it guy here. And the cold side handle on the faucet in my main bathroom is super hard to turn. Like really, it takes so much. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna tear this down and we're gonna take a look. So come along, let's get to fixing. So this has gone to the point where it's gone funky. You gotta actually hold this to roll with that. Like this is jacked up. So what we're gonna do, we're actually gonna go underneath the sink, we're gonna shut everything off and we're gonna pop this whole assembly out because something is definitely wrong here with the way that this is super hard to turn on and off as well. And then this one, I mean, that's like one finger, right? I mean, I can do it with my pinky. Turn these off, these are quarter turn. <laughs> They actually do move, they're shark bite. We will be replacing these at some point. We just haven't quite got there yet. It's good, I'm just gonna shut all the water off. I wanna make sure I leave and the kids don't mess with it, right? Something. I'll put a towel down, but I do have this awesome extreme mat on the bottom of my cabinet. These things are really cool. It comes with a little water sensor on it. Chances are you're gonna notice a leak before it happens, all right? This has been awesome. It keeps a bunch of stuff out of there and it keeps our brand new cabinet looking fresh. All right, so we've got both shut off, right? We probably didn't have to shut both of these off, but we did. We're gonna have to take a couple different things off here. So to take the supply line off, you're going to have to use a backup wrench. Then this piece right here, this plastic nut, it, it, it's got a couple of these little grips on it. It actually is just hand tight. Should be able to pull that off. Get it to where it's that way and then it's just gonna pop out. It's just got an O-ring in there. Slides up into plastic threads that actually looks like it's CPVC. This piece right here with the hose on it is actually just gonna slide off and probably get you wet a little bit. We've got all that exposed and you might wanna have somebody up above. Yeah, to hold this while you pop this apart. Oh, I actually got it. Okay. So, Probably have to have my wife come and hold this whenever I put it back together. Just make it easy on yourself. Get another person. All right, and then you're able to just take this and you're able to pop that right out. So now we got to get this handle off, right? And typically how I think this handle is going to come off doesn't want to come off that way. So for this part, I ended up grabbing a pair of gloves just because if you try to spin these threads, it's going to hurt you. Um, but we need to get this off here. There's no way to take the handle off or move this. I believe that this piece right here is gonna spin away from this. So just a matter of getting it off of there. I grabbed a pair of channel locks. We really need to get this thing apart. If you come over right here, you can see that you can just spin that piece off without actually taking the body off. And then this actually exposes the cartridge itself. So I think if we hold this piece this way and try to spin this one this way, we should be good. Let's see if we can grab this right here. I just don't want to destroy the finish here. This is horrible, man. All right, that should probably work. I have to tell you, did not think this was gonna be this hard. Oh gosh, no, that we can pop this piece off. We're gonna get a little more PB Blaster in here. Let's let that set like that for a minute. All right, so we're back. You can see by all these marks that I have been trying to do this for a little while. At what point do you give up and you just say, you know what, I'm done. Get that there. Oh, I think we got her. Oh, PB Blaster, man. It's freaking PB Blaster, dude. It always comes through. 
I almost went and bought a new faucet. Yeah. I don't know what these guys did, dude. I don't know what they did there. I don't know what all that is. I don't really have a clue what all that is. Why is it so jacked up? It looks like they expansion foamed it to get it to stay in place. Insane, man. Like really, it looks like they couldn't get it to stay in place. So they like put some expansion foam on it or something. Like this thing is Jack City, dude. Let's see what we can do there. Try to clean it all up. Um, get all that crap out of there. You know, see if we can actually get it spinning good again. I mean, it does spin. Actually, this closes very well, nice and easy. It's, it's this whole thing. It's this whole assembly up here. Let's see what we got there. Let's see what we can get loosened up. We'll go grab some stuff and clean this up. It's crazy. All right. Grabbed an old fitting brush, a pick, a couple paper towels. Let's see what we got here. This stuff. That is, I don't know what that is, dude. Shouldn't be water build up or, I don't know though. Earwax? No. So because this actually closes and opens really smooth, I'm not gonna take that apart. Okay, this faucet is not that old. All right, so now that we've got that hooked back up, I mean, that, that seal is a little bit jacked, but it actually is still whole, so it should be fine. We should be able to pop that back down on the sink and it won't be a deal, it should work. We got some pure silicone grease here. We'll pop some of that off and we'll take some of that. We'll put it right on the, spines of this that just to ensure that this is going to come off again we want it to and honestly you know just go with a little bit of this around these threads right here do it around the inside of these threads right here just to go with a little like anti-seize action just get some silicone grease on these other o-rings make sure everything just stays lubed up right it's a good practice there's a couple of flat spots right here that I can have my wife hold this down while I tighten it from below, get everything hooked up, and then we can do the rest of the assembly above. And then we'll test it, we'll check it out, we'll see how it goes. We'll just drop this right down in that hole right there. And I'll get my world famous hand model to hold my wrench real quick. Backwards, of course, just to drive the people that don't like it crazy. So then you put this bigger ring on, the flat washer and then the nut back on. This would be a great place to use a basin wrench, but honestly, there's enough space here that I don't have to. Just grab my adjustable jaw. Once that's back in, then you grab this piece, slide this back over, push it all the way up you'll feel it catch the O-ring. And then we're gonna be installing this piece back. Nice thing about this little piece right here is it actually has a screen in there. So if the water pressure got really low right here, you could pop one of your supply lines off, take a look, and there's a good chance that you could find some debris on that screen right there. We'll just take that, you push that up into place, hand tight, get that started, get this to hand tight. And then we're just gonna go no more than one full turn on this supply line and it'll be good to go. So now we've got that bad boy in there. So now we're ready to install this. Okay, so then we'll grab our handle. We'll put this ring back on it. 
get it slid down over there. That actually looks pretty good. Well, it definitely works a lot better than it did before. Something in this has gone wonky. Not in the valve itself, but actually in the handle. And I don't know, maybe we'll reach out to Price Fister and just let them know and see what they say. It definitely works a lot better. I mean, we, hey, a little bit tighter, but I can do it with my pinky. I mean, it's not as loose as that, but we'll see. Long as it works. All right. Turn the cold back on. Turn the hot back on. Open the faucet, check for leaks. Looking around for leaks. It's working way better than before I started today. All right, folks, so that's what I've got for you today. I don't 100% know why <laughs> that cold side got super crusty and was really hard to turn, but we took it apart the whole thing apart we got it all cleaned up and now it works a ton better at this point i really hope you guys are enjoying the videos please subscribe follow us over on facebook we're just trying to help people out we hope we're doing that thank you very much and we'll see you again real soon